Hi, Alan Stratton here from CostMatters.com. Back in my college days, the university required two courses in economics, macroeconomics and microeconomics. It was hard to reconcile the two courses. What was hard fact in one was flaky in the other, and vice versa. As a student, it drove me crazy. The problem was viewpoint. Macroeconomics approached their issues from a very high altitude. It dealt with general trends and very theoretical issues. Macro started very high and then drilled down somewhat. Microeconomics approached their issues from the bottom up. Micro dealt with the detail and tried to summarize it, at least as detailed as any economist can deal with. In the end, there was value in staying aware of both ends of this spectrum. Fixed and variable costs have the same problem as my university micro and macro economics. The concept of fixed and variable costs comes from the macro end of this spectrum. From the very high level macro view, costs are easily classified as fixed and variable. The company has an output which drives all variable costs. Plot this on a graph with revenue and bingo bango, there's your answer. Now switch to the micro side of fixed and variable costs. Does the, product, does the company have a single product that drives all variable costs? What about customers? Not all cost varies with product volume. Some have only to do with customers and customer support, regardless of the number of products or volume of products. What time frame captures variability? Does the cost change in a week, a month, a year, or years? What's the time frame for the decision that we're making? Those, do those two match? Even in, say, a recent financial services context, costs are variable to what? Variable to accounts? Variable to new accounts? Variable to transactions? Variable to balances? Variable to channels, variable to service definitions, variable to branches. In the end, we would prefer the simple problem statements and simple solutions from the macro side. However, the macro side fails to deliver the detail required for most management decisions. The micro side of fixed and variable costs is business modeling or cost and profit modeling. Here we recognize the interaction of the multitude of currents within a business. Activity-based cost management, or ABC, is a set of principles and methodologies that assist in modeling the micro side model of the business. Any business with more than one resource, or more than one product, or more than one customer must deal with the micro side. And a well-built ABC model identifies activities that consumes a company's resources, then what outputs, whether product or customer or whatever, that best captures each resource's variability. A well-built ABC model applies cost to these relationships and then compares the cost to revenue yielding profit. Simply recognizing this macro-micro dilemma is essential. Businesses applying macro, fixed, and variable concepts directly to a micro decision have a problem, and vice versa. However, recognizing cost variability is indeed essential to good business modeling. We just need to keep the two ends of the spectrum in mind and apply their concepts and tools in the right context, just as I had to do back in college with my micro and macro economics courses. Now, what is one challenge you have with fixed and variable costs? We share below this post at costmatters.com. When cost matters, profits soar. I'm Alan Stratton from costmatters.com. Thank you.